What's up, Yoon fam? It is I, Mark Yoon, and I'm bringing another hopefully exciting video. So what I got for you today is a little bit of a query or a question that I was thinking of uh, just this morning, actually. So I wanted to kind of run this over with you guys and try to see what your thoughts were. So as always, thank you for watching, and let's just jump right into it. So we obviously know that with the end of Season Pass 2, which is probably going to be Huang since the uh, Huang Sung Young, since the data reveals that much, um, there's the Season 3 that's upcoming. Uh, something I've been postulating recently is like, do we really need Season 3? And um, that sounds like a lot worse than it probably is what I mean. Um, of course we want more characters in Soul Calibur 6, right? But with the unveiling of next gen and its eventual release within less than two months do we really want to see another season pass for a last gen console for soul caliber when they should be pushing for the next game um this argument can literally go both ways and i don't really find a home on either side i think i'm somewhere stuck in the middle it's really hard to make a decision on that on one hand um I want Soul Calibur 6 to be as good as it possibly can be, and adding more characters and more lore and stuff like that will obviously make it a better game. But, with that being said, how much more can they add to Soul Calibur 7 to entice us to jump in without adding these characters back that um, they've promised to give us? That it, Well, not really promised, but it's in the data. So, from the codes and all the stuff that all the research we've done and the way that we've like worn this down, we pretty much know that it's going to be if season three does in fact come out it's gonna be a guest character uh rock aeon and probably young yoon song um that's just based on like everything that like i have available to me there's some speculation about uh yoon song's inclusion whether it's going to be algal or not i still say that it's not but uh with that being the case that actually would lead to a better point too so he could act as a bridge right but I mean, do we really need those characters in the game? Because this character, the roster is actually pretty good in this now. Now that we have two seasons that are out, um, especially with Setsuka and with Wong Sung Young being slated as the last character in Season Pass 2, it's a pretty uh, robust roster. And as much as I would like to add on to the game, I would like to think about some things that would make me excited for a Soul Calibur 7. <clears throat> uh, Soul Calibur 7 obviously won't need much um help building hype because like this game did pretty well so um when you're working up to seven there's not much that you have to actually do to get the fans who are already on board to be more on board it's more grabbing new people and newcomers or people that dropped the series a long time ago so could they hold out and add aeon yoon song and i mean Al algal obviously also but rock as premier roster characters for Soul Calibur 7, and would that build up some hype? Uh, I definitely think it would. Um, it would definitely take away the value from Soul Calibur 6 if they didn't add them, but I can see wanting Soul Calibur 7 to do as <clears throat> well as possible, especially since like it's going to be the first Soul Calibur on next gen. Well, first. I mean, they usually only do one game per generation anyway. I think the only exception that they had from that was Soul Calibur 2 and 3. But... I don't know, like, where do you land on that? And the question, and the reason I wanted this to make this video is, those three characters that are slated for Season 3, I have to admit that I'm really only excited about Aeon. Like, I like Yoon Song, and the more Koreans in the game, the better, but I much more prefer Huang than, than, uh, than Hong, to be honest. So... <clears throat> I, it, made, it started me thinking, like, who would I rather have? Like, if we, let's say, that we erase Season 3, and we want to replace the characters, um, who would you want to see come back that hasn't been back anymore? And, like, I think for me, the biggest thing is probably the bonus characters. Like, I like most of the characters in the roster, don't get me wrong. But the bonus characters, like, I think need a chance to stand out and be actually canonized in the new lore and i mean obviously everyone who watches my videos knows that my favorite is probably shura followed by kamikiri musi uh there's a bunch of them that i actually like and i know a lot of people like them as well and we've seen hints of them in this game like arthur's in the game and miser um in the libra of souls mode so it's not like they're not they're not existent anymore like we still see them but 
Would you like them to replace the characters that they have slated for season three? For me, it's kind of, uh, like I said, I'm just up in the air with it. Like, I, I really like Aeon in Soul Calibur V. I like his dual-wielded axe style with, like, the, uh, the wings and all that stuff. I think he was really fun to play as, and I used him for a lot of creative characters. Um, I'm... I obviously don't think they're gonna go back to Sword and Shield. Uh, some people think that he will, but I don't think that he will. Especially since, like, uh, Safitia and Cassandra both wield the same weapons. Um, and he, starting as a clone character, turned into his own thing, but most of the, the lizard men, quote-unquote, like, Aeon's army, they're the ones that will wield, like, the clone weapons, but I think Aeon will definitely have his, his twin axes back. If not, they'll redo something else. I also think Rock's gonna be tweaked a bit, too, but, uh, that's if this evening comes out. I mean, Season Pass 2 sold pretty well. So we definitely have a slating for Season Pass 3. But I'm just starting to question myself on whether I actually think it would be more beneficial to release it this late in the game when Next Gen is already out, or save those characters for the next iteration of the game. I mean, we could release, like I said in yesterday's video, a Collector's Edition that has Season Pass 1 and 2, and then have offer Season Pass 3, but that would be for the next gen version. Um, it would cover, it would be for all versions of the game, I mean, but I mean, like, there would be an upscaled version for the game, but I can't, I can't really see them doing that. I don't really think that they would do that, but I mean, this is the most DLC they've produced, so maybe they would want to go that route. But it's something that usually Tekken or Soul Calibur doesn't really do. That's more of a Street Fighter kind of thing, Mortal Kombat occasionally, but, um... I don't know what else to say, guys. With that being said, like, uh, we'll bring this video to a close with that question. Like, in the comment section down below, tell me if you would want Season 3 now, or if you'd be happy with them being base roster characters in Soul Calibur 7. Um, do you think it would be more beneficial to have a Season 3, or more beneficial to just build up the hype for 7? Um, also, with that being said, would you like to see a newer, updated version of the game on for next-gen consoles? Um, it wouldn't be something crazy. I don't think they'd do like 120 FPS or anything like that, but I think we can get at least uh, 2K visuals, maybe 4K um, with upscaling, but I think we would probably see 60 frames per second if we're lucky. I mean, I know that like it's hard to even cap it at like 30 frames per second usually, but um, just let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I want to thank you guys again for listening. I'll catch you tomorrow, and as always, thank you. And thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Have you always wanted some sweet Mark Yoon merch? Maybe a Thick You shirt, maybe a shirt from Squirt, maybe my pretty face with my logo all over your body, or a throw pillow, or blanket, or anything? Well, you're in luck, because I just launched my merch store, and it is going to be available on Redbubble, and you will find a link to it in my description box down below. It's got a lot of quality content, and a lot of good stuff for you to pick up, so you can show your support for the channel, and just rep Mark Yoon.